Hey everybody, so I'm going to do the 11 favorite products of 2011 tag, I think. It's not really a tag, it's just people have been doing it. So I thought I'd do that since I haven't really done a favorites in a little while, just because I don't buy products that often, but I have accumulated quite a few favorites over the past 2011 year. Past year 2011, you know. And um, yeah, so I don't have any specific order, I'm just gonna go with the flow. And I have more than 11 favorites, just so you know. I was like sitting in my room for an hour thinking like, how am I gonna narrow all my favorites down to 11? So there's really like 13 or 14 or 15 or something like that. Of course these are all my favorite products of 2011, I have past favorite videos that you can check out. First we have here, the Beauty Blender. Oh my goodness! So in love with this, okay. So this is the one that... I currently use it's so disgusting I've cleaned it and it like doesn't seem to want to turn back to a normal color so I'll show you the one that's not dirty Sephora sells them on sephora.com for two for 25 I think and so this is the clean one that I haven't used yet life saver you get the sweat squeeze out the water I just dab the foundation on my face and then I use the beauty blender while it's wet to buff it out and it just blends in so nicely I know there's other dupes for this like drug stores I think the Sonia Kashuk one they have one there, Target, you know, but nothing really compares. To. So I mentioned this in my skincare video forever ago. It's the Dermalogica Clean Start. I used this a bunch at the beginning of the year and I loved it so much and then I decided oh, I want to branch out and try other products and stuff. So I tried other things and I went back to this more recently because I was like, I forgot how amazing this is and it smells like citrus, it's like orangey like oranges and lemons. It has some salic acid in it, so it clears up your skin, and if you have combination skin, you'll probably really like this. So next we have, it's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product, and this is, it's like a spray lotion for your hair. It does 10 different things. It like detangles, defrizzes, adds shine, um, it's a heat protectant, like a bunch of different things. It tells you on the back here. Okay, so if you want, you can pause that and read the 10 different things that it does. I feel like I use way less other hair products thanks to this, and it detangles like a miracle. The next product is another hair product. It's the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask, and I should have just done a whole video on this. Once a week, I'll sleep with this all over my hair, just dry hair. I put it all on, and then I put my hair up in a, a bun and then a shower cap on top, and then I sleep like that overnight. Next day I rinse it out, just do my normal shampoo then conditioner, and your hair is luxurious. Then, let's see, we have Maybelline the Falsies, and actually, um, okay, I did a review on this guy a while ago. This is the Black Drama, and I've realized over time that the Black Drama is not my favorite because it's very, very clumpy. The one that I like the best is the one with the teal writing, and it's still in the purple packaging. Um, it's just the original formula. And it's a lot less clumpy and it works way better. But sometimes I like switch back to this one because I forget that I don't like it. And then I'll be like, wait, this is way too clumpy. And then, I don't even have to say it. I've talked about this like in every video and you guys are going to punch me in the face for talking about it again. So I'm just going to say Urban Decay Naked Palette and we're moving on. I found this more towards the end of the year. If you saw my haul with Mallory, it was like a couple videos ago. It's the Tarte Black Gel Eyeliner. And this stuff is Holy crap, amazing. Okay, so way better than any other gel eyeliner I've ever tried. I've tried the MAC Black um, Fluid Line or Black Track, and that one's really good, but this one's really, really, really good. It actually stays on way longer, even after I'm trying to take off my makeup. I realize that it's still on there, and I'm like trying to get it off. Next, the Professional, I keep wanting to call this a primer. It's not a primer, it's a balm. And this is awesome because it just smooths out your skin. It gives you like a nice smooth canvas, fills in your pores, so when you put on your foundation it just glides on really nicely. It doesn't keep your makeup on though, so you might have to use a actual face primer on top of this. But I have something else that I'm about to talk about that helps, which is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. When I'm like halfway done with my makeup, I'll spray it on. So I've done like my found, oops, I'll done my foundation, my blush, like maybe some eyeshadow, and then I'll finish up like with mascara powder or whatever, and I'll spray it one more time. And it keeps my makeup on all day, and it gives you kind of like a little bit of a dewy finish. So you look fresh and alive and awake. Good stuff. Next is the MAC Pro Longwear Lip Products. So good. This one has a lip stain on one side, a clear gloss on the other, and this stuff will last on your lips for like 
seven hours. And something that I love about it is once you put the lip product on and you let it dry for a minute or two, you put the gloss on. It kind of broke, so I have to go like this. You put the gloss on and the product doesn't come off on to the applicator, which you think it would. You think it'd be like, this would be like all pinkish. I'm wearing this right now. You can eat food, you can talk, you can do whatever, and it'll stay. Same with this one. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Lip Glass in Driven by Love. Last but not least, I've got two hairsprays. I couldn't really decide which one that I liked better because I use them both for different things. So woo, when I make my hair wavy, I like to use the Soy Touchable Healthy Sexy Hair Hairspray because it has argan oil in it and it makes your hair very soft, very touchable, but it still like gives a little, little tiny bit of hold. It's a lightweight hairspray. And then when I curl my hair and I don't want to brush it out to give it like more the wavy effect, I want it to actually be curly, I'll use the Aussie Awesome Volume Hairspray. And it's still like flexible, um, but even though it says maximum hold, it's still kind of like touchable and flexible, but it's not crunchy and it smells so good. And this was like $4 at the drugstore. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you later. Bye!